So when I was four years old, my dream was to become a doctor. Yeah. My mom worked at the local hospital and had managed to put together an outfit and accessories. I had the little doctor lab coat, the plastic doctor bag with a stethoscope, a fake scalpel, real tongue depressor, fake syringe, all the tools necessary to perform an emergency appendectomy on my stuffed Snoopy. I loved being a doctor and truly believed that someday I would be James Arnold Taylor, MD, <laughs> helping people get better and doing good for my society. One day, there was an accident outside of our apartment. No, nothing too serious. A guy wiped out on his motorcycle. No broken bones, perhaps only fractured pride. However, it was a chance for Dr. Taylor to throw on his coat, grab his bag, and race into action. I pushed my way through the small crowd that had gathered to collectively stare and murmur, you know, as crowds tend to do, and give my medical assessment to the befuddled and embarrassed cyclist. As a trained professional in the art of pretend medicine, I came to a quick diagnosis. I knew that he'd appreciate my honesty, so I gave it to him straight, with sincerity and pure intent. I stepped forward, looked him in the eye, and said in a commanding tone, I'd like to help you, but I'm an obstetrician. Also known as a baby doctor, and clearly this man, while in need, was not having contractions or showing any signs of even being pregnant for that matter. I made my way back up the stairs to our little apartment to tend to my stuffed animals, as one was in labor with twin puppies. It was at this time my mother told me that if I was indeed going to be a doctor, I would have to be ready to help others no matter what my specialty was. That doctors are trained to tend to the sick and help heal and make sure people are okay. I listened intently and pondered this new information, and it was at this point in time I came to a new conclusion about my profession and dream. I looked her in the eye and said, "Well." How about if I become a comedian? You see, during my time in the trenches with the injured motorcyclist, a strange phenomena occurred. The small crowd did something when I gave them the bad news. They laughed. In fact, I'm told that even the guy that fell off his motorcycle laughed, and in their laughing, there was a new feeling in me, one far removed from the seriousness of toddler medicine, yet somehow connected to the ultimate dream of helping people. The laughter broke the uncomfortable awkwardness of the moment. It gave us all a good feeling, and in turn, a healing. Laughter truly was the best medicine for this patient, and while in my mind I was a doctor trained in the field of baby delivery, I soon realized that a change of majors was awaiting me. I would heal, but not with a pill or bandage. I would heal with laughter and entertainment. So, I decided it was time for a change. My thriving stuffed animal practice folded, and in its place was a stage. I'd do shows in the evening for my mom and siblings based off of whatever records I had. Sesame Street, Alvin and the Chipmunks. I'd lip sync the songs and dance around the room. I was fascinated by voice and what you could do with it. I couldn't explain why then, but, well, in fact, it took me 42 years to find out truly why I had such a built-in longing. We'll get to that. But I just loved using my voice to entertain. I consumed any and all things about voices and spent a lot of time studying very hard by watching a lot of cartoons and reading comic books.